What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. The modern and the romantic musical comedy adaptation of our favorite story about Cinderella is coming sooner than we have imagined. With an incredible cast such as Camila Cabello and Nicholas Galatine, this story will give you a new version of Cinderella that you have never seen before. But what do we really know about the cast? Well, stick around as we tell you some of the things that you didn't know about the cast of Cinderella. Let's get started. Billy Porter. No. I'm thirsty. If you thought that Cinderella's godmother should always be a woman, well, you are completely wrong. Billy Porter steps into the role of the godmother, or the genderless godparent called Fab G. And let's just say that as much as we saw in the trailer, Porter is definitely perfect for the role. The American star not only known for his acting, he has also gained success for his music and for being a huge style icon that constantly breaks the stereotypes around the world. In one word, we could say that Porter is a true entertainer, but there are still a few things we didn't know about him. One of the things is that he ran away from home at the young age of 15. He was raised in Pittsburgh and lived there with his really ill mother, sister, and stepfather. Porter said that he was really down and unhappy due to his abusive and homophobic stepfather. He managed to run away from home, but he returned briefly after he made a permanent escape at the age of 17. And did you know that Porter has multiple released albums? Not one or two, but four solo albums throughout the years. Not only is he legendary on the big screen, he has also proven to be a really talented singer, releasing his first solo album in 1997 and then continuing to release more and more, with his latest release being in 2017. Hopefully we get to see yet another new solo album from the incredible performer soon. Who knows, maybe even this year or the next. God mother, do you want to go to that ball and meet a bunch of rich people who will change your life? Yes, I was just crying and singing about Nicholas Galatine. Sure your nuptials are done properly, we shall hold a ball. You shall find a bride. Although Nicholas is quite new in the acting industry, he has managed to get his resume filled with a few roles since his first appearance on the big screen. This English actor had his first acting job in 2014 in the movie The Beat Beneath My Feet, starring alongside the late Luke Perry. He gained fame due to his appearance in the 2019 Netflix series Chambers, and from that moment on, his career kept rising. Known for his British accent and handsome looks, this actor proved that even though he got a short resume, he still has the acting skills a young actor like himself should. Today, he is on the verge of his big break, due to his upcoming roles in the films The Crafts, Legacy, and Cinderella. Not only is Galatine a great actor, he is also one hell of a singer. He has a beautiful voice that we will get to hear in Cinderella, but he also plays the guitar. Back when he was first starting his acting career, his main focus was his music and becoming a musician, but today he is thankful to mix both music and acting into one. We have seen Nicholas play in the role of a rugby player. Did you know that he was one in real life? When he was young, he had a great passion for the sport and even wanted to go further and he ended up putting all of his focus on rugby. Unfortunately, due to an injury he gained while playing rugby, he had put it to an end to his rugby career. What about my work? I don't want a life stuck waving from a royal box any more than a life confined to a base. Mini Driver Sure your nuptials are done properly, we shall hold a ball. I don't want a life stuck waving from a royal box. Portraying the role of Queen Beatrice, the mother of the handsome Prince Robert, is definitely something new for Minnie Driver. The English actress had her TV debut in 1991, and since then she has also made her first ever stage debut performing as a jazz vocalist and guitarist. She started off with having small parts in TV shows, and as her career grew, many were able to see her talent, not only for acting, but for singing as well. Today, she has been nominated for quite a few rewards over the years, and has actually won a few as well. Did you know that her real name is not actually Minnie? Her given name is Amelia Fiona Driver, but she chose to have her stage name be Minnie, since her sister chose a nickname Minnie for her and continued to call her that. Over the years, she has proven to be a very dedicated actress, so much that for her role in the 1995 film Circle of Friends, she gained more than 20 pounds so she would fit the role. Not only has she proven in the actress industry, she also proved her talent for singing in 2004 when she released her debut album, Everything I've Got In My Pocket. In the span of her career, she has released two more solo albums and has even lent her voice to a variety of animated series and films. Rhinoceros would have got quite a thin skin, really. So just be a bit careful with me. Adina Menzel. Cinderella, you don't need to go to the ball. Please, stepmother, I spent weeks making this dress. My future depends on it. She is without a doubt one of the most famous Broadway stars to date. Her powerful voice that you will immediately identify anywhere, combined with her outstanding performances, make her be the perfect choice for any role you desire. 
She's also the voice behind your favorite Disney princess, Elsa from Frozen. And you remember the Let It Go song, right? Well, Menzel was the only one who actually sang the iconic song. She has managed to bring various characters to life, from Rent to Wicked. As much as we know about her and all of her accomplishments, there are also quite a few things we have never heard about her. As Menzel realized she had a gift for singing at a very young age, she knew she wanted to keep in that lane, so at just the age of 15 she got her first gig ever, working as a bar mitzvah and wedding singer. She ended up loving the job so much that she even continued to do it while she was at NYU. And did you know that she has changed her last name? Well, it might not be a huge change, like some celebrities do, but she did end up changing her last name from Menzel to Menzel. And the reason why is really simple. She decided to drop the T in the name so it would be easier for people to pronounce it. Marry him and all of our problems will be solved. It's too late. Camila Cabello. Here's a laugh. This girl fancies herself a businessman. <laughs> Cabello has come at the top of her career all thanks to one audition on The X Factor. After her group, Fifth Harmony, has won the X Factor, Cabello and the rest of the group was in for a huge success. Quickly, everyone knew who they were, but still the star of the group remained to be Cabello herself. Sadly, a few years later, she announced that she would be leaving the group to start her solo career. Since her departure from the group, she has released a few albums and has had a lot of number one hits over the years. Her career skyrocketed, and soon she will even have her debut as an actress in the role of Cinderella in the movie of the same name. I spent weeks making this dress. My future depends on it. Like many other celebrities, Cabello was homeschooled, but she ended up dropping out of school in the ninth grade. She did this so she could focus on her singing, and we must admit that was a great decision. However, she did end up getting her high school diploma, but she has proven to us multiple times that she doesn't even need it. One other thing that might come as a shock to some of you is that, till this day, Camila still can't drive. At the age of 24, she has never expressed any desire to learn to drive, but who needs to drive when you have a gorgeous boyfriend like Shawn Mendes to drive you around? While she hasn't explained why she doesn't drive, we must just assume that she simply doesn't want to. You said you wanted to be a businesswoman. It's magic time. And one last thing, she's also afraid of sharks. Well, who isn't? But Camila has quite a great phobia of sharks that is probably one of her greatest fears in the world. She even tried to overcome the fear by going scuba diving, but quickly got scared that a shark might be behind her at any moment and attack her. Oh my god, it didn't happen, and even if it did happen. Hi, would you like to dance? Right now. On a related note, we wanted to know, did you know any of these things about the cast of Cinderella? Let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.